Hi, this is Daniel Scribner here with a quick preview of our next Playbook episode, which comes out tomorrow. In it, I sit down with Ben Boyer, who after more than 20 years of early and gross stage venture investing, first at Lehman Brothers and then Tanaya Capital, co-founded R0, which has created the world's first continuous autonomous disinfection system. I sat down with Ben to talk through the lessons he's learned over the last 20 years as a VC, including what he learned investing in the first wave of Chinese internet companies, what makes a great board member, and what he's learned about endurance, as well as his advice for founders and investors. Here's one of my favorite clips from the episode. Tune in tomorrow for more. What have you learned about being a great board member and the difference between a good member and a great board member? <laughs> yeah, I hope I'm I'm a, a, a decent board member. So what I would say is similar to uh, the fact that not uh, there's no right way to build a company. Um, I don't think there is a singular role for a board member to play in a business. I think it depends on what the business needs. Um, I've worked with entrepreneurs that are young and uh, not very experienced. And my role is very different in working with those people than it is with someone who's been around the block. This is their third startup. There is a role in that environment for a board member, um, but you might be spending less cycles late at night trying to calm down someone than you are just looking to help them with recruiting and the like. Um, I think the most important thing a board member can do is, is to care. I've had board meetings, not at R0. I have a wonderful board at R0, but I've been involved with startups where things don't go well. And the board members uh, from some of the other investors just leave. They stop attending. Um, and I understand there is there is some concept of, look, I, my time is valuable and I'm going to allocate it where I can have you know, the best return. The reason why I don't you know, subscribe to that, that line of thinking is um, the commitment that the entrepreneur is making to us to try to build something is, is real and it is hard. Um, and uh, for every company that fails, there are countless sleepless nights by that team, uh, not just the CEO, but, but the broader organization trying to make it work. Um, I have yet to, to come uh, you know, across a business where everyone just gives up. Usually you see the, the greatest output in terms of, of people's energy and emotion in the last six months. And so I feel I have an obligation to be there until the end, even if it doesn't work, and to do everything in my power to hopefully try to land the plane, to find a home for the, for, for the team and, uh, and potentially a, a reasonable exit. But ultimately, I, I think being cognizant of the company, um, the situation with the executives is probably the table stakes to figure out what is required of you. Um, you got to be direct. That's one thing, you know, direct, direct. Um, but you also have to have compassion just because everything is hard.